Hello everyone, it's Robin here and today we're opening Disney pin mail from some pin trades that I did on my Facebook group, Oh Hello Robin Disney Pins and More. I'm really excited to see what's in these packages, so let's just get started. Our first piece of mail comes from Sarah and Sarah lives in North Carolina. Oh, so pretty there, Sarah. So um, what we have here, ooh, fun. Okay, so we have a note and one pin. I remember this well, and it says, thank you for the trade, Sarah. And there's a cute sticker of Cinderella with Bruno, her puppy. Yeah, so cute. So I know Sarah had posted on the Facebook group that she was in search of, or ISO, certain pins. And one of those pins I had, I think it was the, uh, uh, Main Street Electrical Parade Lightning Bug in the Kingdom of Cute series. So yeah, so we made a trade, super cute, and I have a Cinderella hair bow, which is gorgeous. Let me give you a close-up of this pen. Oh, I love it. Here's a close-up of this beautiful Cinderella hair bow. I love the colors in this. Look at the different shades of blue and all of the sparkle going on in here super pretty and of course the pumpkin carriage right these pins come from a box lunch mystery set and they are really nice with all the princess hair bows oh my gosh i love them all i'm kind of slowly replenishing my collection of them for sure but i love this pin thank you sarah our next envelope comes from Jess and Jess lives in Tennessee and Jess also just started a YouTube channel the TIE Fighter Chick and I will leave a link down below for you so you can check her out she does a lot of Disney and pins and well she's the TIE Fighter Chick so she really loves Star Wars too so yeah definitely check her out so we made a fun trade and oh my gosh look at all these pins oh here's a card Okay, I have a cart out of the envelope, and there's a ton of stickers too, which are really cute. There are a lot of the seven dwarfs. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Um, Lilo and Stitch, super adorable, and oh, Squad, and it's the seven dwarfs. I love the seven dwarfs, super cute. I'll give you a close up of these in a moment. The card is really cute too. It's an artist drawing of Belle, and she's speaking with Cogsworth and Lumiere, so it's really fun. And it says, thanks for trading. I hope you enjoy your new pins. I also thought you would appreciate these stickers. They forgot Doc. Oh no. So we'll have to look at that. Poor Doc. I thought Rod would like the stitch stickers. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Uh, Jess. So thank you so much, Jess. I'll give you a close up again of these in just a moment. I am excited to see these pins. Okay, I have the pins out of their wrappers and we have three pins here. And the first one is Jiminy Cricket. It's a bottle cap. Super adorable. This is from one of the Magical Mystery series. Um, I think it was series nine. Yes, series nine. Super fun set. And we have an Anna handbag, which is fun because again, I'm trying to replenish some of my collections that I, I dispersed a little while ago, but uh, this one's really pretty. You'll get a close up of these in just a moment. I'm really excited about this pin. It is one of the monthly release limited edition pins. Celebrate today, it's Stitch. Super adorable, and it is for May. It says May 1 here, and he's in space. So let me give you a close up of all of these. And we have a bunch of really cute stickers here. So the first one here is Squad, and we have all the seven dwarfs, super adorable. We have a Lilo and Stitch sticker. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. <laughs> super cute. And look at these cute, let me put these here. Look at these cute stickers of the seven dwarfs. So we have Bashful here, Kind Hearted, of course. We have, oh, Sleepy. Sleepy's my favorite. Always tired. Yep, there you go. That's me. <laughs> we have Happy. He is always laughing. Super cute. We have Grumpy. Irritably cute. Yeah, he is, right? Grumpy's very irritably cute. We have Sneezy. Power Sneezer. Super adorable. And we have Dopey. So he is, I'm reading these backwards. What does this say? I know you can read it. <gasps> Quiet and cute. I could read the cute. I could not figure this word out, but he's really cute. But you're right. They forgot Doc. Poor Doc. 
Here we have the pins. Look at this one. So we have Jiminy Cricket, whom I love, really, on a bottle cap. These are the Magical Mystery Series where it comes one pin per pack. And look how thick this pin is, though. Since it's a bottle cap, it is very thick. So this is Magical Mystery Series number nine. Um, I believe each series has six different pins, which are really just fun to open. So yeah, here we go. Jiminy Cricket, always let your conscience be your guide. Next, we have the Anna handbag, and I love this handbag. She uh, has her coronation dress design going on. It's just beautiful. I think it's these green colors that I love, or maybe it's the design. I don't know, but I love this dress, so this handbag is really cute. This comes from a handbag mystery set where you can get a bag of pins with five different pins in them, and there's a lot of different uh, Disney ladies in there. They're not all princesses, but they are Disney ladies, and it's really fun to open. Super cute. And next we have one of this year's limited release pens and it's Stitch and he's in space and it is super cute. Look at this. So uh, this is a piece of plastic and Stitch is in alien form inside jetting off to space. Let me take it off the backer card so we can get a closer look at this pen. I'm so happy I took it off the backer because as you can see Stitch is inside of his spaceship which is made of plastic because on the back there's an element and it's a slider. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's moving inside a spaceship. Super adorable. So these are a Celebrate Today pin. This is May 1st, which is really kind of cool because in May, did you guys watch the SpaceX launch? Oh, super amazing. So this is a really fun way to commemorate even that too. So I'm gonna show you the back of this pin. It is limited edition to 4,000. Here's the element that makes him move right here. So yeah, super cute. And it has two pin posts. Oh my gosh, this pin's adorable. Stitch in his alien form, fun. Thanks again, Jess, for the awesome trade. And again, Jess just started her YouTube channel, The TIE Fighter Chick. I will link her down below so you can go check her out. Okay, our next envelope comes from Emily. And Emily lives in North Carolina too. Oh, such a beautiful state. So what do we have in here? Let's see. Uh, we have a note, thanks for trading with Elsa on it. Super adorable. Oh yes, I remember this trade. I remember. And you know, I think um, Emily must have thought I was nuts. <laughs> because, well, first, I'm not nuts for this. I have a handbag here, so it's a Maleficent handbag. But I traded for two Kingdom of Cute Jungle Cruise boats because I told her I was starting a fleet. <laughs> She must think I'm crazy, but I have a purpose. Anyway, let me take them off the wrapper and give you guys a close up. Here we have another handbag from that handbag set. And like I said, they are Disney ladies because here we have Maleficent, not really a princess, right? I would think she's very queenly though. <laughs> but this Maleficent handbag's fun. Look at the coloring with the greens and the purple and the horns going out here. Oh my gosh, I love this. Super cool pen. And look, it's my fleet of Jungle Cruise boats. Oh my gosh, I love this pin. This Jungle Cruise boat pin from the Kingdom of Cute Series 1 is one of the first pins that I gravitated towards when I started pin collecting back in 2018. And you know, you can see why, look how cute it is. I love, well, let me just put one down. So I love this part here where you can peek through and it has the canopy on, the old school canopy that is the red and the white striped and he has a cute little face and oh my gosh, yes. And you know, there are more than one Jungle Cruisers. So yeah, I do definitely need a fleet. Thank you so much, Emily, for this awesome trade. You have no idea how excited I am to have two. <laughs> Thank you again. I actually need like 12 Jungle Cruise boats because that's how many there are. Okay, so our last envelope comes from Janicole and Janicole lives in Florida. And I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I wish I would have asked you, but it looks like it could be Janicole. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, so we have all kinds of fun things in here. We pull it all out, there we go. Okay, so we have a note and it says, thanks for making this pin group. Oh my gosh, thank you. I enjoy my Facebook pin group. It's really a lot of fun. Pin trading days are fun too. Thank you for trading. Enjoy your pins, Janicole. Oh, please follow me on Instagram at Jani Crafts Co. I will link that down below too. Definitely, I will follow you on Instagram. Instagram's a lot of fun to play with. Ah, Goofy! I love Goofy, right? 
And um, oh my gosh, these stickers are adorable. So we have a series of four stickers with some classic characters on there, Mickeys and Goofies. Oh, super fun. I will give you a close up of these in just a moment. We have to get these pins unleashed from their bubble wrap. So let me do that real quick and then we'll look at them. Okay, I have all the pins unleashed from their bubble wrap. There's six pins here. We made a six pin trade, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna show you real quick these pins and then we're gonna do close ups, but this is the pin that called me to her board. <laughs> I know, right? It's Toma Toa from Moana, and I needed this pin because I'm totally having a Moana thing right now, and I have pretty much every pin from this booster set other than this pin, and I just went searching for this pin because I don't want to buy a whole booster set just to get one pin, but you know, I almost did. Anyway, I love this Toma Toa pin, so I can't wait to give you a close up. Also, there are two hidden Mickey pins. Look at that, these are some of the symbols from Epcot. So we'll get a close up of these, which I'm, in, I'm obsessed with these, really I am. So we'll get a close up of these soon. And look at these, oh my gosh, I love these pins. I've had my eye on these for a while. They're annual pass holder pins that I really then can't get my hands on very easily. So I'm excited to have these. We have Maleficent and Captain Hook. I love Captain Hook and this one just is fierce. So I can't wait to give you a close up of this. And the last pin I'm really excited about, it is from an ink and paint uh, booster set that has four pins. And this is a, uh, an animation drawing of Ben and Me. It's an old Walt Disney World animated uh, short. Well, I don't think it's a short. I think it's like uh, half an hour long almost. And uh, it's of a mouse, Amos, and his, uh, you know, dealings with Ben Franklin. So it's a really cool pin too. So let me put them all close up to you and give you a really good look at these pins. Before we get to the pins, let me show you these cute stickers. So we have a Mickey and a Goofy and another Mickey and another Goofy. These are really pretty. They're very colorful, very summery. I love this one. Look at how cool Goofy is. So Goofy really is one of my favorite classic characters. I just think he's just so much fun and he's always so happy and just a little Goofy. Really fun, super cute stickers. So we'll start with this pin here since it is super cool. So here we have an artist drawing of a mouse and this is from the animated Ben and Me. And it was done, this was a, an animation uh, in the early 50s and this is Amos Mouse and it's all about him and Ben Franklin. So it's really, really cool. This is from an ink and paint series that's out right now. You can see that on the back here. There's two pin posts on this. So it's a nice size pin. Uh, and there are three other pins with other animations. I love this because you get the close up of, you know, it points to the coloring and the drawing. I just love this pen. Here's the first of that profile pin. I love these pins. Now these are an annual pass holder pin. I believe they're from 2016. Somewhere in that area, I'm looking at the date on the back here and I just, it's too small, I just can't read it. But um, it is an annual pass holder pin. Um, I don't know if these were a lanyard pin or a booster set, but I've seen these pins and I'm just obsessed with them. They're a really nice size pin too. And I think they're just beautiful. So of course this is Maleficent and look, she's just fierce in this pen, right? Look at her horns there. I love her colorings with the green and the purples and just all this dragony things going on up here. Oh my gosh, I love this pen. And next we have Captain Hook. I love Captain Hook. He's one of my favorite villains because he's just so comical. And you know, he's not overly villainous. I mean, he has a lot of bad things done to him. I mean, I would like to pit him and Peter Pan next to each other because Peter Pan is pretty mean to him. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, this pin's really fun. It has the red and the gold, you know, the colorings that he usually wears. And I love this translucent blue going on in the back, very reminiscent of the sea and the ocean, which is, you know, where he hangs out because he's a pirate. But I love this pin. I'm so excited to have both of these. And next we have some hidden Mickeys. Now I really love hidden Mickeys and I really love these Epcot symbols, especially the older ones. Now this is the symbol for Communicore and Communicore was in the front in the future world, kind of around uh, where Spaceship Earth is or it was right by it. And back in the day, uh, they had a lot of technology in here, which was mostly about computers and things of that nature. But I think I remember, and I believe it was in Communicore you went to when Epcot first opened this is how you got your dining reservations for World Showcase. When you would arrive at Epcot, you would go straight to here, stand in a long line, and when you got inside, 
you could speak to uh, a dining person to make a reservation, but it was really cool because you were on the phone with them, but they were on a TV screen talking to you. And it was just like amazing. It's so funny how we've progressed now, right? But that technology was really advanced and it was really fun. So yeah, I really like having this pen. Here we have another hidden Mickey pin that's a symbol from Epcot. This is from World of Motion, which of course doesn't exist anymore. Test Track took it over, but it's a, you know it stayed in the similar genre, I guess, because World of Motion was about transportation and about the progress of transportation and where we thought transportation would go to. So yeah, it was a really fun ride. It was one of those Omnimover rides similar to Spaceship Earth and Figment. You just you know you get in the car and it just kind of goes and you saw all the scenes of transportation. So yeah, this was really fun to have. Have. And here's the pin that started all. It's Tomatoa. I am so excited to have this pin. Uh, Tomatoa is from Moana and he is part of a booster set and it's the one pin I didn't have. And he is a crab that lives at the bottom of the ocean and steals all the shiny stuff. In fact, he sings the song, Shiny. Oh my gosh, I love that song. He's voiced by Jemaine Clement who is pretty awesome. He's from Flight of the Concords. He's done a lot of movies now too but he is the voice and he sings that song, which is like perfect. Anyway, I'm excited to have this pen, so thank you very much. So thank you, Jana Cole, for the awesome trade. And again, I'll link Jannie's Instagram down below so that we can all follow her and look at her fabulous pins, right? Well, this was fun. And I really do love pin trading because pin trading, you get, you get mail, right? Mail is always fun. You get pins and you get to meet a lot of great people. Now, if you would love to join my Facebook group, it is Oh Hello Robin Disney Pins and More. I will link that down below as well. We mostly are a Disney discussion group. We talk about our pins, we share pictures of our pins, we talk about Disney, we talk about all kinds of things really. Um, and twice a month we do pin trading days. And you can always find out when that is because at the top of my announcements, at the top of my group page, you can uh, see a calendar and they will always be listed there. We have a pin trading days coming up next weekend. So if you haven't joined the group yet, now would be the time because it'll give you the week to get your traders ready because our pin trading days next weekend should be a lot of fun. Oh, so I don't know about a favorite in here because you know when I trade pins, I'm getting pins that I'm really wanting and I don't know, but you know what? Maybe this one's it. Ready? I'm excited about my fleet of Jungle Cruisers. <laughs> You'll see these maybe in an upcoming video. <laughs> anyway, you guys let me know down below if we're pin twins on anything or which pin today was your favorite. I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, I hope you all have a magical day. I will see you hopefully pin trading, but definitely in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>